What's up everybody? I'm Paul and today I'm going to be talking about how you can find a career that you're passionate about even if you don't know what your passion is right now. Before I launch into our topic, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Hub.Careers. They've got really awesome content on their site, go check it out if you haven't yet. For a lot of people, especially this younger generation, finding the career that you're passionate about is so important. It's even more important than earning a lot of money for most people. But what do you do if you don't know what that career looks like? How can you apply for your dream job if you don't have a specific dream? My first suggestion is to start with what you enjoy. So, for example, if you love to play music like I did, and I still do, start there. Think about the field that you enjoy participating in and see if there's a way that you can monetize it. For myself, I drum for two different bands and those both have started generating revenue through streaming income. But beyond just that, I was able to develop a certain skill set because of my bands that have helped me to launch my current career of freelancing. For example, I didn't know anything about Photoshop before I started playing music, but because I had to start editing flyers for shows and I had to start working with logos and such, I learned Photoshop as an extension of playing music. The same goes for video editing for me. I didn't know a thing about video editing before I started playing music, but when the time came, I wanted to help be able to produce video content for our own YouTube channel. And now, a lot of what I do in my day-to-day -day job is managing corporations' YouTube channels, making videos, editing videos, a lot of video editing stuff, all of which I learned just because I started playing music. So ask yourself, is there something in an area of life that you are interested in that has maybe a cousin industry or a complementary skill that can be monetized? If you love to draw, perhaps you can look online for uh, people that you can help animate video ideas for. Or maybe if you like sketching, you can work on turning people's sketches from just normal sketches and formatting them into digital and then giving those to people. People will pay money for that kind of stuff. There are all sorts of services that people will pay good money for purely because they don't know how to do it themselves and you can help with that. Now that sounds fine and dandy if you know what you enjoy, but for a lot of people I understand the case is that you may not necessarily know what you even enjoy doing. I was much the same way late in my high school career. I didn't know what I wanted to study or where I wanted to study until the final quarter of my senior year of high school. So to people who are in the same situation that I was in, I recommend looking for people that you're jealous of. And that probably sounds kind of weird, but hear me out. If you don't know what it is that you like doing, Jealousy is a great indicator of your subconscious telling you what you actually do enjoy doing. So, for example, if you see someone who is running their own graphic design firm and you're going, man, I wish I could do that. I wish I could start my own graphic design firm. Maybe that's for you. And go ask them, hey, how did you get started in this? What got your foot in the door? Uh, who did you go to for your skills? How did you approach this? Start that way. Just having the direction of knowing what it is that you might possibly be interested in is huge. If you are jealous of people that are traveling musicians, maybe you should look at pursuing music. If you're jealous of somebody who writes screenplays for movies, consider that. It's never too late to explore a different career path or different options, especially if you're not happy with where you are right now. Now my third piece of advice is that if you feel kind of directionless with your hunt for a job that you're passionate about, go look towards people that you know and respect who feel fulfilled in their workplace. Chances are you know somebody around you that you look up to a lot that is really happy with what they're doing. And if you can take advice from them and emulate what they're doing, that could be a great starting point for finding your own path. My final piece of advice is to focus on people first. If it feels at any point in time like you don't know what career field you want to land in, try starting with what people you want to be around in first. If you feel alive when you're around creative, energetic people, then search for a career field where you can find people like that and interact with them every day. Your coworkers are such a huge part of what type of career you're going to lead. It can be possibly the biggest factor in whether or not you feel happy and fulfilled in your job. I know for me personally, I've had some kind of terrible jobs, but since I had great coworkers, I had a lot of fun doing them. I worked at a sandwich shop for over a year, and it was pretty drab work, but the people I was with I really enjoyed, so I didn't mind it at all. I've also had some jobs that paid really well and were good jobs on paper, but since I didn't relate to any of my coworkers and there was a big age gap, it was really weird and I didn't end up enjoying the job. So these are just some tips to keep in mind as you're going about looking for your dream job and trying to figure out what your dream even is before it can impact your job. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.